So I'm gonna do a quick video series that goes over how to trim up the losses, not necessarily a show coat, um, but like a long coat that still works for uh, them to be home it, as pets so that you can still walk them around the neighborhood and not have to swiffer everything up off the ground. Um, and so that just, it makes grooming a little more maintainable. So good luck, hope this helps. Um, so I'm gonna touch on a couple things. I'm gonna do a belly shave first because my girls are no longer showing. Um, I just think that shaving down their belly makes it a whole lot easier to maintain them at home in beautiful coats, um, but for a pet. So um, I've got Daffy here. All right, Daffy, I've already went through and made sure she's all combed out. She's clean. So the best thing to do is to, if you're gonna trim, um, trim a clean dog that's dry. So I wanna go through and make sure that I've got no more mats anywhere. Um, I use this call it a poodle comb. It's a metal comb with long, um, long teeth. So you want to make sure you can get all the way down. When I do feet here, you want to make sure that you can brush all the way to the end. A lot of times I'll get little mats back here on their rear paws and on their front paws, again, like right where their little dew claw is on the inside and on the back where the pet is. So you want to make sure that there's no mats and that'll give you your best starting point. So for belly, I'm gonna flip her on her side. Oh, actually, let's try flipping the other way. Sometimes she's okay with it, sometimes she's not. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. Good girl. So I, when I shave the belly, it's hard to see here. So I go right along the nipple line, all the way up to where her top nipples are. So one, two, three, four, she's got four sets of nipples. So I'll go just above the four sets and then I'll go along the center and I'll go just outside, maybe, yeah, half an inch on the outside of the nipple line. So I have one of these cordless. I usually go no guard. My no guard has an adjustment so I can do no guard with a little bit of space. And you can kind of just shave up. It's a little bit satisfying. You can always take more off. You can't take, you can't add them on. So go slowly. Um, I've never cut the nipples, but that's not to say that it can't happen. So just kind of keep an eye on it. Ooh, easy, 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 easy. And I kind of go nipple to nipple and figure out where I'm at. So there, like here, I'll go a little bit more, but you can see I went one, two, three, four nipples and I went just a little bit above and then just a little bit outside of that nipple line. And again, you can always decide to take a little more off. You can't add it back on. Oh, wait. Easy. Just like, up. And we'll give her a break. That's not fun. All right, we got some hair. We'll go through and do the same thing. On that other side, I'm gonna try turning her towards me because I think it's easier. There you go, good girl. Yeah, it just keeps them a little bit cleaner. It keeps them from picking up all of the dirt when they're laying outside in the grass, kind of do like a little V down by their bikini line. I'll trim for the females around their vulva and just take some of that extra hair off. For the first day, they walk around and act weird because they're not used to getting air on their hoo-ha, but just keeps them a little bit cleaner. All right, let me show you what I've done here. So I've went up her nipple line. I've went just a little bit, maybe two fingers on the outside. Two fingers on the outside here. Shaved her up just above, I actually went a little far here, far here, but it's okay. I'm um, just above the nipple line. Usually I'd like to stop here. I went a little further cause I wasn't watching. Um, and then when I do a parts clean, I'll shave kind of along this crease line here on both sides, males and females, it doesn't really matter. With the females, I'll go down through and I'll kind of shave here and shave off some of their parts so that you can see it a little bit better. Not the prettiest picture in the world. That's what I do for belly shaves. So I hope that helps a little bit.